The answer is not to defund our police departments. It's to fund our police and give them all the tools they need. Isn't that kind of fascinating? When I first got elected, I was being beat up because I supported the police too much for the previous 30 years. No, that's what I think. President Biden wants Congress to spend $32 billion to refund the police as his approval rating slumps to a record low 40% ahead of the midterms. Yeah, that push comes despite the fact that the value of your hard-earned dollar is worth less thanks to rampant inflation. Here to react, Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek, member of the House Homeland Security Committee. Congresswoman, thanks for being here. Will the American voter see through this absolutely pure politics 180 by Joe Biden come the midterms? Well, good morning, and yes, absolutely. I think voters are already seeing it because they saw a $3,500 inflation tax in 2021, and that's reflecting in the president's record historic approval ratings, which sunk to a measly 40%. That is pretty poor heading into a midterm. And so I think the American people, they see through it. They see it at the gas pump. They see it at the grocery store. And no budget, no matter where and, and what they say they're going to do is going to fix that. Yeah. And then when you talk about President Biden funding law enforcement, here's a breakdown of the numbers. $17.4 billion for DOJ law enforcement includes $1.7 billion to address gun trafficking and regulates the firearm industry. That's key there. $30 billion to support state and local law enforcement as well. Uh, I know that your husband is in law enforcement and this is an issue that's very very near and dear to you, your heart. Uh, what is your reaction to the, the, those numbers from President Biden? Well, first and foremost, we have to remember that the president's budget is just a wish list. It, it has nothing to do with what the, the majority in Congress will produce, which, of course, they haven't produced a budget. And I don't have confidence that they will. But when you look at what is actually in this request, there's only $527 million going to the COPS grant. And that's what is actually hitting and affecting our local law enforcement in our communities. And that program wouldn't be plussed up until the next fiscal year if they were to adopt this particular budget. There's a whole lot of money to the tune of billions for ATF and for more gun control measures and gun buyback measures, which in the, in the Biden administration's words are to curb gun violence. When in reality, all these things do is keep guns and weapons out of law abiding citizens' hands and does nothing to curb the crime that they now say that they're concerned about. It's all a smoke and mirrors misdirection. And in fact, if they don't deal with the root cause of so much of the opioids and crime in our communities by closing the border, then this is all for naught. So there is zero mention of border security in this budget. It all ties back to the fact that every single city in America is a border town. And that is really the root issue that is not addressed in this budget. They can plus up ATF all day long. But that is not going to solve any of our crime issues here in the country. Let's stay with the border. Take a look. Some new video showing more groups of large migrant caravans mass released by the federal government. All this as Border Patrol expects a record breaking surge at our border. Why doesn't this new fake we care about law and order trust us attitude from the White House apply to the border crisis? Well, I mean, we, we can all see through that. And I think any American with common sense sees through this nonsense. This administration has no regard for law and order. In fact, when they talk about border, they mention that they are going to be spending millions of dollars on lawyers for these individuals who have crossed into our country illegally. When you really dig into what this bu proposed budget is all about, it's about supporting the illegals here, continuing that magnet, but doing nothing in the way of helping construct the wall or give the resources that our Border Patrol agents need to do their job. This yeah. is, again, misdirection, and it is going to be a hollow attempt at gaining back voters going into a critical yeah. midterm. Congresswoman, you're new. absolutely right. That's $150 million for lawyers representing migrants during the immigration process. So for everybody at home, that is what the Biden administration is proposing. Your money get used for. Got to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Congresswoman Kamek. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good day. And